Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add forms to your website using JotForm Form Builder. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys to your web presence, putting the fasting success. There's a whole bunch more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. With that, we'll get started. Um, previously, we had gone over how to add a form um, using um, fast, fast Secure Contact Form, but if you want to go any further than just doing like these general fields, name, address, phone number, it can be a little bit confusing. Um, so I wanted to make this this tutorial uh, on you know adding check boxes, adding groups, a little bit more stuff that's much easier to do with a different um, you know a different form building website. So this was a plugin. This is actually a separate website. So what you're gonna do is go to jotform.com. I got the link down in the in the description. And you're going to want to create a free account. Uh, the limitations of a free account, if I look at pricing, are you know you need to be able to have. It's only going to limit. It's going to limit you to 100 form submits per month. Um, if you want to do secure submissions, whether if it was uh, for any reason, if you were taking any kind of sensitive information that you need to be sent over a SSL connection, then you only get 10. And then um, if you have any kind of payment set up then it's only going to give you 10 a month. So for 10 for another $10 a month, if you do need to upgrade, you do get 1000 per month, 1000 SSL and 1000 payments per month. So it is pretty cheap, but I mean today most people only need a basic free account. Um, so that's how that works. So first what I'm going to do is go to my forms and then I'm going to have to log log in. And you may have to create an account first, but I already have one created with this. All right. Now, now I'm logged in. You can hit new form. And the good thing is you can go through some samples. So form samples is contact us, job application, membership registration. Um, but I'm going to go and start blank just to show how easy it is to build one of these. All right. And what you're going to do is now you can start dragging and dropping your different uh, things in here. So you can say this is just a regular text. Forward to hearing from you. And then you can do a text box and you'll say full name. And then you can do Tools. You can put in the email, put in the phone, and you see how some of these are already all filled out, which is nice. And you can put in address if you wanted to. All right. Different survey tools. You can go through the, all the list of everything they have, but it's very easy once you start doing it. Um, if you want to put a PayPal button in, you could drag that in there, and it's going to ask you for your, your account and all that information. So. I'm going to drag that out because we're not going to get that detailed today and it is pretty easy to figure out. You can change the properties of submit button so if you want it to say submit, um, like in this case you would have it say submit but if you didn't you could go to properties and make it say you know send me free report or anything like that. Um, you can go through and you can go for the style and you can change fonts, font colors, background color, uh, by default, it'll be kind of transparent. So whatever you do, put it on uh, on your website. It will integrate pretty pretty smoothly, which is another reason why I like this plugin. Um, you can also change the width, all that. Um, the only other thing I guess I would cover for this is um, let's see, setting it up and putting it onto your website and uh, setting up your email alerts. Now if you want the email to go to an email that you didn't set the account up with, then you go to email alerts. That's going to the person, whatever the email is you set it up, but if you wanted to add another one, you hit add new, and you hit notification email, and then you just change, this is the email I put in, support I compete now, you just change that email to whatever you want, hit next, Hit next and finish once you um, once you do that. 
and then also there is autoresponder emails that next and then you say it's from you can say your name compete now and it's you know this picks the field that it's going to send to so obviously it would be the email hit next all right and you can put in your subject line on the uh, thank you you know thank you for your submission and then in here you can type we will be in touch shortly or anything you want that's just another thing uh, the other, other thing also is after the form is submitted it will automatically make a little thank you so you can you can even customize that you can either make it go to a custom URL you can make it go back to your home page or you can make it go to any other page you want or you could do a uh, custom thank you pay message this is what it shows by default I'm gonna leave that but you could go in and change that as well now to put it on your website first let's go to back to our website and get on the page that we want to add it to so I want it on the contact page hit edit page all right. I'm gonna, I just want to delete all this. All right. So here's the page that I want to add it to. I am in HTML view. You need to add this code to the HTML view page. Go to the form builder. Hit set up embed embed form. All right. And you're gonna go down here and hit embed. You can make it secure if you want, but remember you only get 10 submits if it's a free account. If you do secure. Um, unless you sign up if you sign up for a paid account you do get a lot more I don't I don't have any sensitive information in here really so I'm just gonna say no copy it go back to your page hit paste update and that is an HTML view from what, from what I've seen switching between visual and HTML isn't hasn't been messing up my forms from JotForm but you do run the risk um, not a problem. If you ever do save a page after being in visual and you notice your form is gone, you can always go back to jotform.com and, um, and get the form embed code again. Let's view the page, see how it looks. Alright, and there it is. Nice and easy. And I'll just fill this out real quick. Why not? Test. This. This. Mm, I don't think I made any of these required so that's another thing you can make any of these fields required that you want um, as you go through but I didn't make any of them required so I can just go ahead and submit this alright thank you your submission has been received alright so this has been a new tutorial provided by Compete Now WordPress and eMarketing tutorials put you in the <laughs> Give you the keys to your web presence, put you in the fast and success. Learn more on our website at startcomedian.com slash tutorials.